I'll be reacting to Battle Athletes Victory Restart Episode 8. I will be watching it from Funimation's website, and I'll be starting my reaction in 1 0 go. Alright. I am semi. Yeah, I'm actually pumped up for this because they had a pretty decent job last week. It's actually nice getting to see all the work that Eva put in when she was younger, actually. Because even though, yes, they emphasize the fact that part of the advantages she's had in part of the wins is partially... Aww. The mother seems like, seems like a sweet woman, though. I'm assuming something tragically bad's going to happen to her, though. I like how they make the music seem so epic. But this series is like the opposite of epic whenever it focuses on anything involving Kanata. Which is a shame because the track actually kicks a lot of ass. But the animation is horrid. Hell, I was complaining last week that we didn't see the rain drop on their bodies and it really does. The only thing they, the animators have done at least better this week is at least the clothing's a bit more moist than last week. That's about it. But they're still you were using like the same animation from last week. I mean, for fuck's sake, if you're gonna have bank animation, at least have the rain stick on their bodies and make the bank animation really fucking beautiful like how Toei does it. Whenever they have bank animation in their fights, they at least make sure that the bank animation looks all beautiful and it doesn't look like an offense to anyone that can perceive colors or anyone that has sight, you know? Who am I kidding? It's the Battle of Athletes Victory Restart fran oh, series because I haven't seen the other bits of this franchise and this series isn't... It ain't exactly encouraging me to see other bits of this franchise at all. But, regardless, who am I kidding? I actually expect a, a jack shit from this series. Even though, yes, last week's episode was actually not that bad. It was actually pretty good. I'm assuming that shit was a fluke. Because there is anytime this series has a good moment, it feels more like an accident than an actual incurrence from the writers. You know? I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I hope the episode ends up good, but... Just have a bad feeling about this. I gotta admit, I always love the episode title cards. It actually feels like a video game level's about to start. Again, this would be great if we saw the running actually well animated. Because I have seen a lot of sports animes, and to make rain animation interesting, animators use multiple angles, massive amounts of epic music, and things of that nature, which the series doesn't do because their animation staff in the series is trashed here. Um, not the animators themselves, but who knows, maybe it's the lack of production time that doomed the series. At least now we're getting the rationale as to why she wants to harm Eva at the very least. I think she, and not just that, but because he's, Eva's a living being. Whoa! Yo, this dude, he's motherfucking smooth every single time he talks. Is he gonna say he wants to save you, Cell? Oh. Whoa! Oh man, I love those ambitions. Wow. Damn, I was hoping we'd see more of them. <laughs> oh man. Oh. 
Hey, you know, if Eva's trying to feel backlash in her body, Kanata might be able to actually take advantage of that. Hmm. Whoa! Um, it looks like something way more than escort, though, because with the way that fucker is laughing, it feels more like a scene in a hentai where a character is about to be ravaged. Gang R A P E style, yeah. Ah, I gotta admit that landing did look semi rough. I do like how this is one of the few sequences in the series where you do see our girl figuratively cornered and actually doubt herself. It is nice to get to see Kanata go through some adversity. And when I mean adversity, adversity like, say, slight bruises or injuries. Oh, that's cute, seeing her tough it out. She's got to consider that even if she doesn't get first place, she should at the very least consider Something the end, at least finishing it off. Yes, she might not be the winner, but if she can at the very least finish it off, she can at the very least feel proud of herself that she finished off the race. You know, the anime, this one would be exciting if we saw the crowd actually move. Here it feels like there's a lack of energy. Hell, even card game anime sometimes have crowds animated to give more emphasis. I feel more excitement seeing children play card games in anime, in other anime, than this, which should by default have an advantage over card game anime, considering its characters utilizing their bodies and their physicality. Acceleration? Wow! I wish we would have seen the animation of her slowly getting back up and seeing the condition of her knees and running instead of just being told that she's running. This series definitely has a bad case of telling us things instead of actually showing it on screen. Utterly pathetic. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to see the mother suffer anymore. No! Okay, I thought for a second they were gonna punch the mother. Wow, these villains are so simplistic. One of them is literally given the trade of just doing this in different parts of the series just to try to give them a defining personality trait. Whoa! If he says that, that might be advisable, it's probably going to happen. And you know what makes the scene where Kanata gets up less memorable? We don't, her knees look fucking fine. It's as if she didn't fall into the fucking ground. Well, this series had a chance of making something emotional, and they fucked it up. They fucked it up how they fuck up most things. I'm noticing that they're barely even moving the hair. With that, the bottom portion of her hair is moving, but then her other bits of the hair aren't moving at all. Like the sides. It's the same animation again when you see Eva and um, our girl running, Kanata. The animators really must have been fucking proud of that animation because they've used it I don't even know how many fucking times. Like five or six times already? Okay, that's a memorable line. No need to rush. Everyone dies someday. 
I mean, this dude is a fucking quote factory. Mm. Our girls. Oh, and now she's fucking worried. I'm assuming Yana's gonna help our girl out. Hey, you know, this scene is actually good because of the build up from the previous episode. And you know, there's something really beautiful about that scene Yana and Lydia bonded that much. They don't go that far because Yana and Lydia actually understand each other. They took the time to actually get to know each other. That's why. That's something that Yasel wouldn't know of because she tried to impose her will on her friend. Which I'm not going to blame her considering all the trauma that she likely had to go through. I mean, hey, you're not wrong about that. Whoa! It's pretty freaking cold. I do like this of showing you how much self-confidence Yana has that even though she was told that she doesn't have the capability, she's still going to go through with it. I actually really dig this. It actually makes Yana's struggles much more... I feel like they have much more weight. Honestly, this series would have been fucking good. Like, even with the animation issues, it would have still been good if they would have just made Yana the main character instead of Kanata. Like, no joke. Every, her and everyone around, surrounding her is just interesting. So the same she's a side character and the spotlight has to be shared with Kanata and Evan, all the other Shelly and all the other boring girls. That explains why there's always a kangaroo around Rihanna then in that case. I do love how there we see Yana's optimism where she has hope even like the most dire circumstances. It shows you how strong she is. Oh! Whoa! I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm glad she didn't carry out that plan. Holy shit. Aww. Now that is a true fucking friend right there. I hope you still feels like complete shit. I hope. I got a oh, wow. Alright, I gotta admit that's a fucking good scene. Hey, it's the same running animation again. Yay! I don't see. Oh, okay. It's pretty much the same animation. Just this time, Eva's glowing. Yay! Oh, it's really sad seeing the pressure that our girl had to go with, through with, too.
I like how the rain mat like magically their clothes dried up as if it was magic as if there's someone with a blow driver. Talk about a lack of detail there on continuity. And it's embarrassing that the series is this bad looking because I've seen y'all any of y'all keep up with my channel? I watch a fuckload of sports anime, so it pisses me off when I see this lack of detail. Did our girl just become a super sin all of a sudden? When the fuck was this foreshadowed? Unless her body was also genetically modified. No, seriously. Did I miss an episode? <clears throat> Yo, it almost looks like she's seen a ghost with the way she's reacting. <clears throat> I'm assuming she's gonna slap Kanata's hand away. It's gonna be slapped. Or not. What the fuck? Okay, that match begins super terrible because now you still chin looks completely off now. Gotta admit that the music sounds epic, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, everyone in the crowd has derpy faces, whoa. Like, I want to take this seriously, but I can't. Wow, so now they have a stills and speed lines. This reminds me of when Queeby anime Tentai. And it's not a good experience. It's one of the negative variety. Okay, at least she's acknowledging that the action she's done have been negative. I do like that bit of character. Development for you, so I'm, I think she's gonna try to kill herself. She's gonna try to kill herself. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm kind of glad she didn't go that route. Okay. Okay, you know what? This is sweet. I just hope there's consequences though. I hope we do see you so in a gel though, because she did attempt to disturb the peace. Obviously not forever, but for at least for a few years because she just gets off the slap in the wrist. I, I would be calling bullshit on that. Is it a shame though that when it comes to Yusel, she didn't have that type of positive perspective from start to finish? And again, it seems like that really show you that if Yana was the main character, if the series had started out with something like that, with seeing our girls Yana and Yusel live through war, then it lead into Yana getting into the competition, this series would have probably been freaking captivating. No, 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 don't fucking tell. Yo, she actually did it. Holy fuck. I guess I was right. She actually did go end up killing herself.
<laughs> Again, I mean, that is an adorable little reaction from a girl. I mean, shit, with what Yana went through, what I'm blaming her, she needed years. Hmm. Oh, finally, I mean, it's nice to see Eva and Kanata seemingly patch things up. Oh, yeah, they didn't mention that a few, um, in the previous episode, too. Hopefully it's a positive message. But it doesn't seem like it's a positive one. Hmm. Oh. Oh, then again, I don't know if that should be able to be phrased that way. Because she was kidnapped, Liga. I mean, it does. Or it could mean all of them by technicalities. Looks like her memories are coming back. Hmm. Finally! We can actually finally get to see the real Eva actually come to the forefront instead of her just being an obstacle for our main protagonist to get through. Which is nice because with Eva, if they're not careful, they're, the writing staff is in real danger of just making her seem like a plot device at this rate. And nothing beyond that. And I'm not joking about that. But, in saying that, the episode was actually... Um, I'm conflicted because there were good moments about this episode. Like, pretty much anything involving Yana and Yusuf was good because... It was actually really nice just seeing the moments that Yana and Yusuf went through before Yana competed in the competition in the series and seeing Yusuf's death even though I didn't feel sad for Yusuf at all because I don't feel sympathy for her. I did feel bad for Yana. So the episode succeeded in some fronts when it comes to from an emotional standpoint but in saying that there were a lot of bad things about this episode too for example the race between Kanata and Eva they hype up this race for like a whole entire episode no two episodes they were hyping the fuck out of this and the best that they can give us is just bank animation that's the best that they can do this race has been hyped up for like how many fucking weeks and they fuck it up? So while uh, there was good in the episode, there was a lot of bad that I'm not just going to be able to ignore. And even though, yes, the backstory with Eva and her mother was actually good and I was like, alright, this is sweet. What wasn't sweet was how during all this you had a lot of drippy looking sequences. Like when you saw got out of the handcuffs and she was taking on the detective... The animation was so horrid, it was all derpy, you had speed lines when the animator, so we're trying to portray the audience escaping with stills. I'm like, what the fuck is this, y'all can't even draw stills right? So that's the thing about this episode. Yes, it has good emotional moments, but those emotional moments were hampered because of bad execution. 
which is a shame because if the execution would have been better, then I actually would have been excited about the Eva going up against Kanata race. Hell, they were emphasizing the fact that Kanata was injured, but we see her knees completely fine. We don't see bruises, we don't see bleeding, none of that. Which is a shame. Because in anime, when you see characters bleeding in sports animes after they take a rough fall or a rough hit, those usually make for some of the most epic animated sequences in anime. This series, though, it doesn't give me that type of pleasure. Instead of being like, oh man, this is Joy's occasion, it's more like, fuck, this is a boring ass slog to get through. Which, for your climactic scene that's been built up for multiple episodes, it is not a good thing when at least me as an audience member, I'm feeling that way. That is fucking bad. And that's what thought the episode had good and bad. And that's about to rate this. I'm going to give it a rating of below average, which in my skill, 5 is average and exceptional, and 1's abysmal. I'm going to give it a 4.75 out of 10. And I'm only giving it that much because the Yana sequences were great. If it wasn't for that, this would have been like a fucking 2 out of 10. Like, zero hesitation. And that's only well, that's the only reason why. And also, the other flashback was pretty good. But that's about it. Everything else was fucking dog shit. But, anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction. Or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the bitch, share it, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. Now, I'm fantastic day, everyone. Bye-bye.